So I wanted to talk a little bit about the difference between regular sine, cos, and tan versus using sine inverse, cos inverse, and tangent inverse. So here's two examples for us to look at. In the first case, we've been given the angle. So we've been given 30 degrees. In the second case, we're looking for the angle. So in both problems, we're dealing with angles, so we know we need to use sine, cosine, or tangent, or the inverse functions, but we're not going to use Pythagoras. So let's figure out what's been given to us. We have the opposite and the hypotenuse here. So in this case, we're going to be using sine with so. And on this problem, we've been given the opposite and again the hypotenuse. So we will be using again so katoa. So from sine. Okay. So how do we use these? First, let me clarify a few things. Sin, cos, and tangent. eat angles. They are a function. You literally have to feed them an angle. Okay, You have to feed them an angle and they will give you they'll give you a side length. On the other side we've got sin inverse, cos inverse, tan inverse, and these guys they need to eat side, side, sandwiches. Okay, so sin, cos, and tangent eat angles. You have to feed them an angle. And the inverse functions, they have to eat a side, side sandwich. And they will give you an angle. So that's kind of why they're inverses. The regular functions, sin, cos, and tan, you eat angles and you're given a side. The inverse functions, you eat sides and you're given an angle. So kind of like opposites of each other. But you have to be really careful to feed them what they need to have. So a sine is a function. It has to eat something to do something. So if we look at solving this actual problem, using SOKOTOA and our helpful little triangle here, we're looking for H. So we'll cross H out with our thumb, if you have a thumb to put on there. And remember, if it's shown here as a fraction, that's opposite over sin. Okay. So in this case, we're looking for h, which was our x, and we're going to have opposite divided by the sin. I guess I could show that as the h. So h is equal to opposite divided by sin. So the hypotenuse was our x, our opposite was 5, and we're dividing it by sine. Now you have to feed the sine something. You have to feed it something. You have to feed it the angle, so sine 30. So x is equal to 5 divided by sine 30, which gives us 10. Okay. So the length of the hypotenuse in that case is 10. In comparison, on the other problem, we're actually looking for the angle so here we cover up the angle part, the sin part. And we've been given this information that basically says S is equal to O divided by H. But here we have to be careful. If you cross out the angle, the sin part, and we're looking for it, we have to use the inverse function. And the O over H, that's our side-side sandwich. So our angle, X, is going to be equal to sin inverse of the side-side sandwich, which in this case is 7 over 9. And make sure you use your brackets to make sure that your calculator gives you the inverse of 7 divided by 9 all in one piece. So shift inverse, 7 bracket, 7 divided by 9 bracket. And what do we get? we get x is equal to 51 degrees with a little rounding. Okay. So again, I want you to be really careful. Sin 
cos and tangent, you have to feed them an angle. So you have to put the angle in. In this case, it's sin of 30. So sin is going to eat the 30, and it will help give you a side, give you information for the side. And the other problem with sin inverse, cos and tangent inverse, all the inverse functions, they have to eat a side-side sandwich. You have to feed them a fraction that's a side over a side, and make sure you use your brackets. So in this case, again, when to use sine and when to use sine inverse. Here we use the regular functions when we're looking for a side and we've been given the angle. And here we look and use the inverse when we are looking for the angle. So looking for angle versus regular function when we're given the angle. So don't forget, feed them what they have to eat. Sin will eat an angle, and sin inverse will only eat a side-side sandwich.